what's up guys here's Claudio from visual motor wordpress teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to display the latest blog posts of your site into a news slider almost like the latest news that you see on tv okay but before we can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours because we're gonna learn how to do this for free but let's get things started first things first Log in to your WordPress dashboard to access dashboard on the browser address bar enter with your domain plus WP admin. To do this, you're gonna need to have some blog posts present on your site. So you need to have some posts, okay? After review the left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over plugins and hit the submenu add plugin, okay? Into the upper right corner of your screen, you're gonna be able to find a field called search plugins. Click and type DD, just like this, okay? DT. Responsive news tricker, tickers, sliders, and lists. Click on install now. Click into the activate button. This is gonna redirect you to the plugins list. A list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. And if you review the WordPress left sidebar of menus, you're gonna be able to find a new menu called it Diddy. Click on hover a mouse over it and click on display, okay? Right here on display, let me just delete this one. Yours is gonna look like this, okay? Click on add new display. You can give some name to this display in the case that one, and you can choose. First thing, it's a list. Then we have a grid or a ticker. That is my favorite. It looks like a news, okay? I want a ticker. So click on save. Now we can choose from left or or for right, down or up, eating, max width, no ripe, ripe, all up to you, okay? You can change the spacing, the speed, the effect, the speed, initial display, clone or ripe, okay? Then you have some styles, you can have the eating styles, for example, font family, color, background, color. This is one of my favorite options. Let me choose a background color, just like this. Container styles. Let me choose another background color for the container styles. I think this one is good enough. Just like this. Let me just reset this one. You can use a gradient color or a solid color, all up to you, okay? And to your needs. After having all the options you want, for example, the display options, font settings, you're gonna hit the button save display into the upper right corner of your screen. Then, still on Didi, go to add new Didi. Now you can use default, HTML, type, or WP posts feed. This is my favorite, by the way. You have other options, but it's the paid option. We're gonna keep the things for free. So WP posts feed light. Gonna be my choose. Save Didi. Let me reload. Here is my deal Didi. Click on it. Click into this blue bottom. Sorry, this green bottom. Add the WP posts feed. Now you can limit the amount of posts and apply some label in the case that you want. You can change the links and you can customize the content. For example, author avatar, 
I do not want the auto avatar. Author bio, I do not want the bio. Author name, category. I just want the title. just the title so we're gonna unmark all of the other options let me update the item settings now I'm gonna click into this option right here next to item and I'm gonna use a template and I'm gonna use the new display option and here is the result I'm gonna have all my posts title appearing I'm gonna save my chains go back Go to the settings, find the short code, copy the short code, this is important. Now I'm gonna go where I would like to display this and apply the short code. I'm using Elementor page builder, so I'm gonna edit the page using Elementor, but you can use the short code block in the case we're using blocks editor, okay? I'm gonna click into this plus button to apply a new section, search for the short code, widget, drag and drop right here place the code and publish the page now let's see the results we got looks like I did not save it the option of display no problem use template new display add template save DD now let's see the results we got and here we go. We can make the thing for widget into the Elementor settings, but we have a slider that show all of my blog posts, okay? Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the best.